Hello everyone, and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. We've gone over several variable types recently, and those are all great. But what if we want to manipulate those variables a little bit? What if we, I don't know, wanted to add our int variable and our double variable together? Well, it's not that hard actually. It's math, um, which hopefully all of you have gotten the hang of at least a little bit. It's very basic math. So we're gonna make local int plus double v equals int variable plus double variable. Simple, right? And just so that we can see what it is, we're gonna print int plus double. And remember, we have to use print like a function in order for it to really work. So we'll go to place one, click play. Our output is gone. What the heck? I guess I never put output back um, after I put Windows 8 on my computer, which I got for Christmas. Okay, we'll have to pause, restart, play. 92.3. Now let's go check this script and see if it really can do math. So 77 plus 15. Let's break this down a little bit. Just I know most of you guys can probably figure this out right away. But 77 plus 10 is 87. Uh, 7 plus 5 is 12. If you add 12 or if you add 5 to 87, you'll get 92. And then 0.3. Since there's no other decimal places, um, no t more tenths it will be 0.3. So, 92.3 is correct. Now, we did that, but what if we wanted to subtract the double variable? Oh, shoot, shouldn't delete that. Well, just subtract it. And this should come out as 62, no, 61.7. 61.7. So now we pause, reset, play, and we get 61.7. Now multiplication. Would you put an X? No, you wouldn't. You'd put an asterisk, which in most computer programming and basically everything, uh, except in math where they use an X for basic math, like um, grade level math. Uh, it's an X, but he, in most places, an asterisk means multiplication. So if we go back to place one again, we reset, and we click play, we'll see the multiplication thing. I didn't try to figure that one out because, honestly, that'd be a really tough problem to figure out. But there it is. Apparently, it equals 1178.1. Go back into our script, and I bet you guys can guess what this means divide right so we'll go back and we'll press play again and that is a long number but that is apparently the answer uh, we would get but there's a couple more than just those four basic basic math um, operators what if we wanted to divide it but only get the remainder which is actually very useful when you're trying to determine if a number is even or odd which is yeah, actually pretty common to do sometimes so in order to do that you put a percent sign percent usually means percent like how many out of 100 but when used as a math operator in programming it means divide and get remainder so it's only going to divide down until it is uh, as long as it is still a whole number once it is no longer a whole number, it's going to give us whatever is left. So, reset to play. 0.5 is left once we divide it. Now, a lot of the times, when you use percent, it will come out a whole number. But, for even numbers and or for odd numbers, it usually will come out a decimal place, such as 
It, of course, depends on the numbers. Now there's a couple more. Um, I don't, I've never really done this one uh, in Lua. I've done it in other languages, but might as well test it while you guys are here so we can all learn, right? So this should be like an exponential thing. I know we're getting out of basic math now, but some of you guys, most of you guys should know what exponents are. And if you don't know what exponents are, uh, let's just go with two. Let me write this. Two. Now, two to the power of two to the exponent of two. By the way, I'm putting it up here so it looks like an exponent. Exponents will usually usually be superscripted, um, like smaller font and up top. Uh, two to the power of two would be two times two, which is four. Now, if we change this to two to the power of three, it will be two times two times two. So when you do this, it's just like whatever the base number is t multiplied by itself, however many times that or to the exponent's value. I hope that makes sense. If not, consult your math teacher or Wikipedia. Either will work. So let's just see how this works because I've never tried it. And it actually does work. It's a huge number that apparently it can't calculate. Uh, entirely but that's fine and there might be more that I don't know of in fact there might be shift right and shift left but I'm not going to go over them because uh, I don't see any need to if you guys know math beyond this you can most likely do it um, there's math that sign and math that cost and all of those trigonometric functions and stuff I believe but we don't need that right now so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.